what's going on? We back with the Boston Clinic and more one time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. And, um, man, I'm going to talk about uh, Mikey Garcia. It was something interesting that was said during the telecast of the Sean Porter, Danny Garcia undercard and regular fight uh, last night or a main event. And one of the interesting things that I did notice was the fact that I think it was Steve Farhood or whoever said, well, not Steve Farhood, the other guy, Joe Chesitor. I don't know these guys now. I'm sorry. But one thing that was said about it was that Mikey Garcia was willing to fight Mikey Gar- uh, Danny Garcia for the WBC title if he won over Sean Porter, which didn't happen. <laughs> Excuse me, okay? It didn't happen, you know? And, um, you know, but he, he didn't, well, he wasn't willing to fight Sean Porter. He wasn't willing to fight, fight Sean Porter, but he was willing to fight Danny Garcia, somebody that he already beat in the, um, in the uh in the amateurs okay he beat uh sean uh danny in the amateurs and i'm trying to tell you dude dude it's a cherry picker man he's a cherry picker and uh it's cool you know ain't nothing wrong with cherry picking every now and again you know trying to get your you know, good way to the title but i told you guys you know he wanted no smoke with sean porter that style was all rough and tough salito's ass style for him all right and um uh, and i'm telling you man a lot of people don't like uh, what I'm saying, but like I said, it ain't the worst thing in the world, you know, strategically moving your career and moving how you want to move it. Ray Leonard did it. Floyd Mayweather did it. You know, Marquez and Cotto did it, and Pacquiao did it to certain extents. I'm not saying it's the worst thing, but people act like this dude really want all the smoke, you know. People act like this dude will fight any and everybody, and his zombie-minded uh, fan base believes that sentiment. I don't. I don't. You know, you was willing to fight. Oh, you know, one thing to say, you know what? You know I, I want the uh, I want all the uh, smoke with, with the winner. I want to smoke with the winner. No, he wanted to smoke if Danny Garcia won. You know what I'm saying? He's a guy that he felt that he could take advantage of and and, and outbox and do what he wanted to do against. He didn't like his chances versus Sean Porter. And I'm not saying that a lot of guys don't like their chances versus Sean Porter and that that rough and uh, wrestling WWE football linebacker style. You know what? That's a tough style to cope with. You know. There ain't no easy shit to deal with fighting that man. And I understand it, you know. But don't act like you want to come in the welterweight division and, and you really want to do something, but you really don't. You know, he really don't, you know, want to fight certain guys. You know what I'm saying? And I think all the way around, all the way along, he knew that the Earl Spence fight wasn't going to happen. All right? I really do believe that. You know, he knew that fight wasn't going to happen. You know, he knew what the executive was saying. He knew they was going to talk him out of it. Now he could potentially go to Pacquiao route or do something that way. And that's cool. I'm not tripping about the Earl Spence thing no more. But he continued to keep calling that man out named Clout Chasing. And now doing a telecast. And all, you know, I'll, I'll say Danny Garcia, Danny Garcia be Sean Porter. Okay. Even if you want to fight Earl Spence, you know I'm over it. You know. And I understand that one day you can fight him. But right now it's not in the budget. And right now Earl is going to go ahead and face Sean Porter. And I understand that situation. They may open up sometime next year. But don't come out here and say, oh, if Danny Garcia win, I want him. No, go out there and get the winner. You know, say I want the winner. Say I don't like that cherry picking the maneuver and shit, man. You know, you need to go ahead and try to get Lomachenko fight from which Kelly is telling me, Kelly Enigma is telling me that that fight ain't going to happen because Bobby Brown don't want to make that fight happen. And I can believe it, you know. But don't be coming up here talking like you really want to smoke, you know, with, with, with Earl and these guys, but you're not even willing to fight Sean Porter. And I understand Sean Porter don't bring the cachet or the major fan base to the table, but if you really want to be a champion, and regardless who wins, you want to fight him. That's how I feel. I ain't cherry-picking, ducking nobody. If I really want the belt, give me the winner. Don't say, oh, just get oh, Danny Garcia. I, I'll fight him if he wins. No. No. You should want to fight the winner, too. If you want to fight Earl, you should want to fight every other welterweight, except for Terrence, we know. Terrence Dan Circles around, you know, Bud Crawford uh, uh, turned Nikki, Mikey Garcia face to mince me. But that's that cherry picker shit, man. You know, exposing itself as a cherry picker he is, and people will continue to ignore it. It's the same fan base that continue to su- support Canelo Alvarez, his cherry picking ass as well. All right? I ain't with this sucker shit, man. Not at all. You know, but like I say, man, Mikey's a, a tremendous fighter. I don't like the cherry picking, I don't like the. The, the, oh, I fight him, him. No, no, not him, him. No, man. And I understand that he's somewhat of a bigger draw than Sean and Danny and all that. You know what I'm saying? But um, but like I said, man, you know, you should fight willing to fight any and everybody. Don't come and tiptoe in the division 
If you're going to knock the door down, knock the door down and go big. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, I definitely appreciate everybody for, for listening. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those links are in the description. I definitely appreciate all the brothers. You can find us at S2L10, College Sports Most Wanted, talking college football. We lacked this week. We'll pick it up next week. God willing. Won't have many major games on anyway. Also, you can find us at the Raw and Cut uh, uh, podcast under the link in the description. Me and the Cali Enigma. We're going to cook up real, real soon. Uh, definitely appreciate it, man. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters that support TBC and more and the mighty LDBC one time for the one time. And uh, make sure you go check out the Smoke City Mobcast, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday nights at the Smoke City Mobcast on YouTube. Much blessing to all the brothers out there as well. Shout out to my brother Blood Boss Returns and Junior The Truth. Y'all go sub to that brother right there. Holding it down. We go.